Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Patan. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? I hope everyone had a nice weekend and you're ready to get started today. Just a reminder, we started our candy bar sale. If you are selling the candy bars, please make sure you bring your money into school when your box is empty. If you would like another box, we will be able to give you another box at that time if you have permission. Please make sure you turn that in to your teacher and they will send you down to the office for your next box. Also, please make sure you're dressing for the weather and being ready for recess each day. Hats, gloves, coats are really important, especially this time of year. When you're coming into the buildings in the morning, please make sure you are walking. Sometimes our sidewalks get slippery. We don't want anyone to fall down, so please make sure you take your time and walk in carefully. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for our Baton Pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. You may have a seat. Today is Monday, January 30th, 2023. And for lunch today, we will have grilled cheese, green beans, fruit, and milk. Happy birthday to the following students. Happy birthday to Stella Miller and Lizzie Razak and Layla Cook. Happy birthday to Evelyn Dunbar. We hope you have a great day celebrating your birthday. As we start our week and as we're thinking about all the great things that are about to happen this week, it's really important that we look carefully at our BBO, our beliefs, our behaviors, and our outcomes. These are all things that we are working to get better at each day. We have the belief here at our school that we work together. And in order to do that, we all have to think team, not just about ourselves. We all have to take some time to care, listen, and connect with others. And we all have to do great things for each other. By doing these things, we can have a lot more fun and better results here at school. Another belief that we have is our relentless pursuit of growth. And this is when we have to be gritty. We have to embrace the challenges. We know things get tough, but we have to work hard and not give up. Learn from our mistakes and get better every day and be willing each day to come to school to do the work. By doing this, we can become the best version of ourselves. And our last belief that we believe here is owning it. It's really important that you think first, then act. We look for solutions. We're not going to blame, complain, or defend. We want to talk to people, not about people. By doing these things, we can have more pride in our actions and trust in each other here at our school. When we're thinking specifically about the many events that come our way, and we think about how we respond to those events to get to a better outcome, it's important that we always are looking for solutions. We don't want to blame things. We can find things to blame all the time or complain about things or why things happen a certain way or defend things that happen. We have to own it. We have to look for solutions. What can we do to make a better outcome? Let's be looking for those solutions this week here at school so we can have great outcomes. This month, we have just a few short days left. It's important that we continue to learn from our mistakes and get better every day. Be working hard this week and really work hard to learn from those mistakes. Please make sure you are working hard on keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself, showing great self-control. Remember, you are in charge of your own actions and your own words. Please make sure you're respectful each day with those actions and words when you come to your school, when you ride on your bus, after school, and all the other places that you can be. Make sure you're showing good self-control. Please remember, we are above the line here at school. When we are in the hallway, let's make sure we are walking on the right sides of the halls, keeping our body parts to ourselves, using the handrails, taking one step at a time, and making sure we're not bothering any classrooms as we go by so we can all have a very safe and happy learning environment here at our school. Also make sure that you are following directions with our restrooms. It is important that you wait quietly for your turn one person goes into a restroom at a time. You go in, use the restroom, you come directly out. Make sure you take care of the restroom by keeping it clean, flushing the toilet, wash your hands, and make sure those paper towels get thrown away. Everyone needs to do their part so we have a very safe and clean restroom. 
Special academic congratulations today to Tyler Milhouse for passing his multiplication facts and Isabella Bauer for passing her subtraction facts on the extra math program in Mrs. Taylor's classroom. Keep up the great work. Also congratulations to Adeline Hildreth for passing her multiplication facts in the extra math program in Mrs. Lohman's homeroom. And also congratulations to the following students for mastering all 10 levels of multiplication boot camp and moving on to division boot camp in Skill Sergeant Moore's classroom. Elijah Schaffner, Branson Kirk, Raymond Jones, Cayman Zebert, Braden Mominy, and Nolan Verkin. Keep up the great work to all of those students. As we begin our day today, I want us to take a minute to get ready for our day by pressing pause and getting our mind right for the next minute. It's always important that we take some time to show some good mindfulness and to practice pressing pause and really getting our mind right. So let's take a few moments in our classrooms and practice some deep breathing. We're gonna breathe in, one, two, three, four. Hold that breath, breathe out, one, two, three, four. Breathe in for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Hold, breathe out. One, two, three, four. And you can continue to do this process. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. And get your mind right. When you find yourself in the moment throughout your day, or maybe you're feeling a little bit frustrated, or maybe you just need a a few seconds to get your mind right. Remember, the box breathing. Hold your breath in for four seconds. Breathe out for four seconds. Breathe in and breathe out. Now step up and make it a great day. I hope everybody works hard and has an excellent school day today. Go skin.